Now I'm going to tell you the most important lesson I ever learned in my life because it changed the path of my destiny. It started at my lowest point. I was struggling. I was in a hard place. I was suffering in my worst moments. We've all been there. I like to call it my dark place. You see, I had just lost my job. My bank balance was less than zero. I had a failing business and a family to support. Only my ambition had led me to this point. But this is the thing that most people actually admired me for. And it almost destroyed my life. I was down, but I was not out. I took the last bit of my energy to an old school mentor of mine. We used to call him the guru. He said few words, but you know, his message was always right. And I was so low that when we met, I didn't even ask him any questions. I just told him. I told him that I regret trying. In my dark place, I told him I regretted the hard work, I regretted the sacrifice, I regretted the dedication I had put in, and in that moment I regretted it all because I didn't have anything to show for it except for a bunch of broken dreams. He said, regret? You know what, meet me here tomorrow and I'm going to show you regret. So then that very next morning, he picks me up, I hop in his car, he doesn't say a word. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, where the hell are we going? And after 15 minutes of driving, we pull up to the middle of nowhere, outside of a retirement home. And I said to him, I came to you for help and you're gonna bring me to the middle of nowhere? He says to me, no, you came to me with regret and I'm gonna show you true regret. He walks me up to the door and just before he leaves, he tells me, I want you to go in there and I want you to speak to these people. And I want you to ask them about regret. You look into the eyes of some of these people and you're gonna see true regret and you're gonna see real pain. You're gonna see the pain of broken dreams because when you're 90 years old and your body doesn't work how you want it to, you know what real regret tastes like. You still have those dreams that you were pushing aside, but now, now, now you really can't do them. Now, you really can't start that business. Now, you really can't be the athlete. Now, you really can't do it because your body no longer allows it. Now, go in there and speak to these people and see what true regret is. I'm going to be back here to pick you up tomorrow. So, I spent the whole night talking to all kinds of men and women, wise and foolish, brave and cowardly, regretful and fulfilled those with failures and those with successes. But it wasn't the winning or losing that made them develop these regrets. It was so much more simple than that. It was not trying. I could see contentment in their eyes. I could instantly recognize that they would rest easy. I could immediately spot the ones who felt accomplished in life. After speaking to them, I realized that not all of them were winners and not all of them were losers, but all of them were triers. All of them had given it a shot. All of them had taken the chance on their dreams. And it was with that knowledge, the knowledge that they had tried, that they felt no regrets, that they had given it their best shots. Unfortunately, in a retirement home, it's much, much easier to see those people with regret in their eyes because they were the people who never attempted to live their dreams. See, spotting someone with regret, it was instant. Misery was written all over their faces, and you could tell there was a deep sadness lurking inside, and an empty feeling just overshadowed their persona. In that night, I was told so many stories of regret. I was told so many stories of these what ifs, heartache and pain. So many knew their dream. They had lived with it in their minds, dwelling on their aspirations for their entire lives, but they never brought it to life. And now them knowing it was physically impossible to fulfill their dreams, man, the sadness they felt and the sadness I felt for them was overwhelming. You see, regret is a sad thing to see, and the majority of people I spoke to that night had regret in their eyes, embedded in their lives. When Guru drove me home that next morning, he asked me, Now son, 
What are your regrets? I had nothing to say because I didn't feel any regrets. He asked me, what did you see in their eyes? I told him regret. He said, no, what did you see? I said, pain. He said, no, what you saw was them looking back, wishing they were you. You don't realize the privilege you have. If you still have time left to make a mark, and if you still have time left to live your dreams, then you will have no regrets. And if you're still able to work on your goals and ideas, there are a billion people wishing that they were you. Stop with the regret. Start feeling gifted and start feeling blessed. You have a chance to go out there and make a mark. You still have the opportunity that so many don't. Understand that you have the privilege to succeed in life. Have you ever lost something and spent days restlessly searching for it? How often have you actually found it? Looking for something makes it even harder to find something. Stop searching. Make it easy for yourself. Instead of trying to find courage, build it. Work hard. Make progress. Take large steps and look forward. Look forward to produce it. Brew it inside of you. Brew the courage. The courage to make it. To have success. Take pride in your work. Anticipate to succeed. Manifest the courage. Believe you already have it. Make it happen for yourself. Stop waiting to find it. Do it yourself. Stop searching. Courage is constructed from placing yourself in uncomfortable situations, making yourself have to work even harder, therefore accepting more success and feeling more satisfaction. Don't wait for it just to be handed to you. Don't expect to find it. It's not simple. Hard work takes time, and hard work pays off. Take this courage and make it define you. Make it part of work. Walk hand in hand, strong and careless of your self-doubt. Take this opening now to make it through, to have courage and strength to move away from yourself, to know how and what to change. It's easy to stand in the crowd. It takes courage to stand alone. In every situation, try and take a risk. Step out of your comfort zone. Take yourself out of situations that are easy and challenge yourself. Look at yourself. What are your goals? What do you want to achieve? No, what do you need? to achieve. If you want to make this happen, you have to step out of the crowd, out of the comfort zone, and start taking risks. Risks to help educate you. Educate yourself on your mistakes. Learn to take opportunities on your own. Stand independent. Learn to surround yourself with new challenges, new people. This way, new things can happen. Change can come about. Work hard and move away. Move on, succeed. Do things for yourself. Be selfish. You deserve to make progress and finally make it happen. Stand away from the past and move towards the future. Make it past the barrier and finally move away from your comfort zone. Don't wait for anybody. Don't wait for the opportunity. Create the opening. Make things difficult for yourself. Try to take the challenge. Grasp the challenge. Move past your fears. Move towards risk. Don't be afraid. 
Stand tall, taller than you ever have before. Work hard, work harder than you ever have before. Soon, you will be successful. More successful than you can ever imagine. Be stubborn about your goals and flexible about your methods. Write a list, a list of goals, plans, and activities with purpose. A list you need to achieve by this time next year. Be persistent, stubborn, and disciplined. Make these goals your priority. Make sure you know this list. Make it your soul, your heart. Take these goals as your journey, the journey to success. By this time next year, you will be an improved you. You will become the person you believed you would become. Goals achieved, striving to be better, making yourself better. In order to change your future, you need to make change now. The longer you wait, the less likely you are to make progress. Make the time now in order to succeed later. 